Alrighty, hey there guys, AP back with another one of them thingies called Anime Reviews. This time, we just finished up the show called Erased. So this is a newer show, uh, it came out in January 2016 and it also ended in 2016. So it's a very new show, but the manga's been out since 2012. Uh, and in case you don't really know what this is about, it's about a guy, it's kind of like a detective kind of thing. But this is... The, the detectives are like kids, in a sense, that are trying to help kidnappings, like prevent kidnappings, not help them, that would be absurd. And it has a, I thought it had a really good premise, um, I wouldn't say it was like the best anime I've seen, but it was really, it was, I thought it was really good. It wasn't until, uh, probably episode 6, and there's only like 12 episodes, probably wasn't until episode 6 till like I really started getting the feels for uh, the characters and started being like really kind of developed into the or until I started really being invested into the whole plot and premise of what's going on and unfortunately unfortunately I didn't uh, <laughs> I wasn't I didn't do this one in uh, one night I, I split it up into basically like three different uh, nights I watched six episodes in one day and then I watched like two or three in uh, another day and then I viewed the remainder in the last day, the day I'm making this, and unfortunately, what that I, I felt like what that did for me is it's kind of like it kind of blew it out, uh, all the all the stigma going along with it, and like just because like if I watched in one sitting, I would still be carrying that emotional train throughout the whole thing, whereas now like just viewing like the last three episodes, it was like oh I kind of had to like get refreshed into it, and I didn't view it like. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was probably like Monday, wait a week, Tuesday, wait like four days, Wednesday, kind of thing. Like, it was, it was very spread out from when I started this to finish it. Now, I didn't necessarily watch any anime in between. I do like to watch one anime at a time, unless it's like one of those weekly ones where it just updates on a weekly, like One Piece or uh, Dragon Ball Super or something like that. So, like... This is my main squeeze right now, so I had to, I had to, I had to finish it before starting something else. Um, but I really just kind of wanted to really kind of rush it out. But I also wanted to like finish it on a day where I could make this video. So I was, I was just complicating myself with viewing this. As, as an anime itself, with the animation, the art style, I really liked it. The one thing that bothered me when I first started watching it, it doesn't bother me anymore, was Sataru's mother's lips man like those were some fat mugs like ah dude I was just kind of like at first I was like dude what's going on here but like after a while after like episode three I was like ah you know not a big deal w what I did like about this was the fact that he the, the whole revival thing and going back and forth between future and past or I guess present and past. Like I thought that was I thought that was a really cool kind of premise, just because like it really gave you like I don't know it it, it was something not done. And when they're trying to solve the murder, like it was the kids just trying trying to prevent this shit. But like of course he's like a 26 year old in a kid's an 11 year old's body, trying to like do all this stuff stuff and be and play detective. But like. Literally, he's just doing what he would do in the future, but like, in I don't know what it was, but like around like episode like five, like you can pretty much figure out who it is. It's a little hard to, I will say, but like you can definitely figure out who the killer is and who's abducting everybody. Um, I was able to nail it down pat. Like my buddy just the other day, he said. Uh, I'll, I'm just gonna basically read my test. He, he asked if I started a race. I said I was almost done with it. And then he, then of course, like, how far are you? It's the, or no, he, he was asking how, how far I was and how did I like it. I said I was halfway and I liked it. Uh, it was a good show. And uh, this dude's already seen it, so he, of course, already knows it. And he's like, who do you, who do you think it is? I said the teacher. All he says back was, gotcha. Well, finish it, man. Lol. I won't be on, oh yeah, then he's talking about uh, being on to talk about it later. But yeah, he's like, gotcha fam, we'll finish it, lol. So it's like, 
after that, I was like, okay, I nailed this one on the head. I know it's the teacher. Like, no way in hell is it going to be, like, anyone else. Now, actually, like, comparing, like, the future murderer teacher to uh, the, the present actual homeroom teacher, or shit. Going from, like, the adult murderer to the teacher murderer personality between the two, they're so different. Like, you can't really, like, line them up and say these are these are the same person. It was It's kind of hard to do, but just going for personality traits and how, like, they kind of handle each other, like, it was, it was, it was interesting to see it, uh, like, lined up like that. Once they got in the car, once, uh, uh, Sataru got in the car with his mother and, uh, Yashiro, uh, the teacher, I, I was like, ooh, I, I don't know how I feel about this, but then uh, he was like, oh, what's in this drawer? And it pull, and he pops it out, and it's all these suckers. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be something else, like, that was, like, really pushing my, my feels towards, like, this dude is gonna kill these mugs, like, right now, man. And we, when it was just suckers, I was, like, kind of disappointed, but I was like, ah, okay, you know, whatever. But, like, all of his little, like, habits, like, tapping the stream and shit like that, it was kind of like, I felt like he just had this one itch that he just couldn't get rid of. And, uh, when, when they, when he swapped cars, and he's like, oh, you want a sucker? And he's like, this ain't my car, son. I was like, dude, we did it. We did it. We got the blues clues up in here, fam. Like, oh, dude. But, like, one thing I was kind of disappointed with was the whole being asleep for 15 years like this mug pretty much drowns in a car yeah the river's like frozen and shit but like he's in a car seatbelts locked he can't get out the dude puts basketball on the gas pedal slow down grab the wall and the car's just sinking at this point now it sure it could have been a shallow river it looked like the back half of the car was up but still the kid was in a car that was in the water like I think this kid should be dead, first of all. And how did they get him out? Like, like, so many, like, holes in this. Like, how did they... Oh, my God. Like, I want to know. I just want to know. How did he get out of the car, into the hospital bed, or, yeah, hospital bed that was in his house with his mom? And he was there for 15 years. Like, holy shit. What? Like, what? This, this is a big gap in the anime I would say like I just don't understand it like did his mom find him did his friends find him like what happened does it after he said yo your future fam was uh Yashiro like oh shit I better go dig him out or like dude, like I just don't understand I don't I don't get it I don't get it man but uh that young the, that one character uh with the airplanes that seemed kind of like pedo kind of um, I think his name was Young or something like that. He, uh, he did strike me as kind of a you know, little, little bit, uh, little touchy-feely with the kids, I will say. But, uh, like, you know, halfway through it, I was like, you know, maybe he could be it. But, you know, I'm, I'm really happy they actually gave him that little, little spotlight in the end where he has his own family and whatnot. Like, ah, good. He's, he came out all right, you know? Well, I like that. And I'm really glad at the end they brought back Irie like that that at that point I was like oh dude this was a good moment like yeah he got his, all of his marriage back he's got his friends he's got his family and then like like he I, I guess you could say she he resolves a uh, Kayo um, when she brings in the baby like that's resolved you know yeah yeah and then but once they brought back Irie like I was like yes like this they're, they're just gonna have babies now. They're just... It's happening. It's happening. Like, ship has sailed. And at, I, th I think it'd be kind of weird. I think it's kind of weird. I don't want... I don't necessarily want to do this just because of, like, the show. But I did say we're gonna have, like, a waifu of, the, of like, the thing, of the animes, of whatever series we're watching. So, like, I'm gonna have to name it Ivy. Like anyone else I think it would just be weird like 
I mean, they're all kids. Like, we can't do that. For, like, the whole show up until, like, the last two episodes, they're all kids. We can't do that to them. That's just, ugh, I can't, I can't even. And one thing I'm a little disappointed about, actually, kind of sparking up thoughts here. One thing I'm a little disappointed out about is I wish Sotaru would have told Kenya about him being from the future. I wish he told, like, one person, be like, Dude, I've seen shit. I'm from the future, man. Like, I am, like, tinfoil hat going on right now. And, like, I wish he would have told someone. I think that would have been, like, a really good addition to it. But that just, that just, that's just me, guys. That's just me. Let's be, let's be honest here. Hey, guys, overall, I would, I would, I would rate this, I would erase, I would, I would rate Erased a really good show of, I wouldn't say a must watch, but I would definitely recommend it to people. Um... I would recommend it to a lot of people, to be honest. It was a good little kind of detective show with... Not, I, th I thought it was actually going to be more cutesy than what it was, but it was actually more... Not. With this one, too, there, there's just not a lot to say about it. With with these short ones, with these ones that are only 12 episodes long, it's kind of hard for me to like, really talk about it unless I'm like... Unless it's like your lie in April where I'm just blown away by it. Um... Where's this? It, it, like, it's cool, you know. I'm, I'm chill with it. I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it ended. I'm really. I was actually kind of dissatisfied once he like landed on the cushion, but after they brought Irie back, I was like, okay, I can live with this. This is nice now, you know. Yeah, guys. If you, if you haven't watched it, you've uh, probably heard some spoilers after watching this. So just go watch it. Uh, if you've watched it already, tell me what you think in the comments down below, and hey, if you have any more anime you want me to, to peep at, you know, just hit me up in the comments of what you want me to watch soon or next or whatever, you know, I'm always open for options, but other than that, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. All music used in this video uh, is from a YouTuber named Trial and Error. Uh, he has his own website and his YouTube it will be linked in the description down below. So please go, if you're interested in the music, go check him out on his YouTube or his website. His music is very anime themed, so if you're interested in that, definitely drop by his page.